the circuit diagram as shown in this question. Question 3B 2012 May June. We have the resistance box, the galvanometer, our resistor, P, Jockey, and the cell in connection to the meter bridge. Like what we have in the question, the meter bridge, standard resistor, galvanometer, jockey, saw key, resistor box, and connecting wires. I can always advise once you see a wire question, read through and understand. Don't just jump into the conclusion. Make sure you read through to understand. Deduct some values that are required of you so that you won't make any mistake. Like I have it here. The first, the, the first thing to observe is our R, that is our resistance, to be set to 10 ohms and obtain balance point of G on the meter bridge. And followed by to the, to the repeated procedures, of 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 ohms respectively. That should be the first thing you must table down on your sheet, answer sheet. And this is the way you should record that. Likewise, the value of your L, that is between a and G, that is the zero point of your meter bridge to where it balance with the jockey. To where it balance on the jockey. We can now proceed from there to our apparatus. This is the resistance box. The connecting wires, the jockey itself, the resistor, a 2 ohm resistor, galvanometer, the meter bridge, cell, and key. As is shown on the Diagram. That is the same way it is being set up. Same way it is being set up here. Join me while I proceed in connecting those wires. From the diagram presented, the cell. We have the longer and the shorter one. The longer one always follows the positive, while the shorter one is the negative. Note that, and that is where your connection must start from. Connected the Remove my 10 ohms, seal the key, you can see the, the, there is deflection towards the right hand side of the galvanometer, not until the jockey gives 
the balance point. So I move my jockey at 80. Do I have a balance point? No. It remains. At 90, do I have a balance point? It remains a little. Then 95. Do I have a balance point? Yes. Yes. I have a balance point at 95. Turn it down. 95. For 10 ohms. Back to my resistance box. Proceed to 20 ohms. Close back to 20. My balance point exists at close to 10, which is 94.5. 94 94.5. Then I proceed to 30. And my balance point at 30 is very close very close this is 90 94 94 and I proceed to removing my key. So follow the normal precautions of YX standard precaution for YX exam. Then I have my I move my jockey place and place. Right, right there at 93 I have my balance point at 93 don't drag your jockey on the meter bridge then I proceed to 50 now. 50, 20, 20, 10. Replace my key to have my galvanometer to deflect. Then placing my jockey on the meter bridge, which is at 92. We have it almost there. Ninety-one point five. Yes, it's there. At ninety-one point five, you can see I will move my jockey and the galvanometer deflect back to its original position. Removing my key, so I have my reading twenty. Then close all keys back on resistance box. The last reading, which is 60 ohms. 60 ohms. Replace the key. You see my galvanometer deflecting. Then I move my jockey to 90. Yes, I have it there at 90. That is it. Returning my jockey, removing my key. So I have 90 centimeter. 
and that is the end of the reading on of both the length, the balance point of the length and the resistance loss in ohms. The other ones are the computation which we will see in the next video. Thank you.